Hi everybody, I'm Ingrid. I'm a sociologist. I usually stay off of social media, um, but I figure now's the time, right? Uh, I have a good idea, hopefully, I think. Um, and so uh, here's a video on how to turn a T-strap bralette into a face mask. So I was reading about how all these wonderful people are making face masks and I thought to them, and, and they were saying that one of the things they were doing was using old bra straps to use as kind of connectors, you know, because they didn't have plastic on here. And I thought to myself, there's got to be a better way to do this. So I dug out an old T-strap bra um, from that I have from the Gap. Um, it's cotton. You'll see it's two layers in the front and one layer in the back. And I've already cut the straps off. This is the only cut that you make actually. Is So you've got this bra originally. I'm sorry I have to use myself as a model, but uh, originally the straps are gonna be attached right here. Um, so the first thing you need to do is to cut the straps off. So the straps would be attached right here, there. And so I'm sure she's over there, but you cut the straps right there at the top of the T of the bra strap of the T-strap. And so here you go. So you're gonna end up with this. Um, and so the first thing you need to do is looking at the back of the strap, of the bra, um, you have this, this thing right here, the little part of the T-strap. And so you're gonna take the front of the bra and you're gonna hook it around here like that. And you're gonna pin it. And so that's gonna be where you sew. For this project, you need a sewing machine. You also need a sewing needle, and I'll tell you where I go later. Um, but that's all you're gonna need. And, oh, and a bra. <laughs> um, so I've hooked this around, I've pinned it down. So that's gonna be your very first sew. Let's just do a little tack right there. Um, if your sewing machine won't take this amount of thickness, which it should, this isn't very thick at this part. Later on it won't, but this will. So you can sew that, or you can do it by hand if you want. It's gonna take a lot longer. Um, so the next thing you do is you need to tack these parts down. And the reason is because when you have this, so this is gonna be your, this is the front of the bra. This is gonna be where you're gonna go with it, your that, that T-strap part is. If you have it like this, so see, it's like covering your eyes, right? We don't want that. So what you need to do is you're gonna tack down, fold in and tack down these two sides there. So I'm gonna, Tack these down with my pins. Another thing you need, obviously. Um, so, uh, yeah, while I'm tacking this down, I just want to say thank you to all the people who are working in doctor's offices and hospitals um, and retirement homes and everything else. Um, I have a great respect for people in the medical field. Um, and by the way, I also want to mention all the people who work who aren't doctors in hospitals, so orderlies and um, people who work at intake and uh, med techs and, um, you know, all of the people who make hospitals run, um, managers and everyone else, because they're all being exposed to the same thing. Um, my dad was a pediatrician. My mom She's still alive. She's actually in chemo right now. Um, she uh, was a med tech way back when. Um, and she actually worked at a hospital in New York City in the Bronx um, as a med tech in the 60s, um, in the 50s, I think, too. Um, and my sister-in-law is a nurse, and my brother is currently in nursing school. So thank you. Um, Thank you for putting your lives on hold uh, in line uh, for us. So I have tacked this down. So you'll see tops are tacked down. This part is tacked down. So when you sew it, that's your first sew. Your next sew is we're going to sort of fold this over. And so you're going to sew all the way along here to the end on each side. See? And um, I'm doing this because my friend Stacy said this is a good idea to put that shit on YouTube <laughs> so <laughs> hi Stacy <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it 
So, um, you know, a lot of us don't have masks, which I don't have any masks. And to me, if I walk in a grocery store like this, I feel like it's not going to be as, I'm not going to feel safe. I'm, you know, I feel like I'm going to feel safer if I have three layers of cotton on me. I know that, um, you know, we've gotten this like kind of official word that you shouldn't wear a mask or a mask is sick, but I was reading some studies about the efficacy of different materials uh, against as protection on the face against um, different airborne pathogens and stuff. And um, those aren't my studies. These are studies that were done years ago. But cotton actually was listed, and I think it came up to about like a little over 30% efficacy. So, you know, to me, 30% is better than zero. Um, okay, so here we go. So we've sewn this. We've, so, we've tacked that and we've sewn that. Next thing you need to sew is along these lines here. So you're gonna sew from the top to there, to the end, and again, this way. So then this is all gonna be tacked down there. Um, next thing you need to do, this is actually a size large bra, I'm not a super small person. Um, and you'll see what happens is when I put it up here, you've got these bra straps now, right? And the bra straps are going to be tacked down. I can put it on there a couple of tacks. Mm -hmm. The bra straps are going to be tacked down kind of towards the side, which is where you want it. The side of the top, see? Right there. And it's because that's where your ears are. So, if I got this, I got now I've got, look, this is coming exactly toward my ear on each side. See? Perfect. So because this is a size large bra, when I put this all up against my face, you'll see it goes way too far back. It's way past my ear. Um, and so it wouldn't work if I hooked it around and sewed it in that way because it would be too loose on my face. So what I did was I took the ends and I folded them in. So this is the inside of the bra. You're going to fold it in. And don't forget, this is already tacked down. You've already sewn this part, right? So you've sewed this part. So we're going to tack down this part here. Um, while I'm doing that, you know, I don't know, see in the back, of course. I have a separate story too about that a long time ago when I was at Northeastern getting my PhD. Um, and they, it was the 90s ish. <laughs> and, um, no, I don't really, I don't really remember. It was just good food. Um, I, uh, so Chef Affair used to do these um, like kind of roving exhibits. And so on Newberry Street one time we came and they had a big um, exhibit where you could go and you could, they just had tons of posters all around the wall and you could just pick out which one you wanted and then go pay and hopefully they still had that one in stock at the exhibit. So um, that one's been missing for a really, really long time. We definitely have one very much right? Um, and, um, you know, so hey, Chef Affair, thanks for making a good art. Um, so here we have the tack down part here and here. So I've made it smaller. So you'll see now, when it goes up, it meets right there, right at the edges of my ear, which is where you want it. So we're going to now try and figure out where we need to put the ends of the straps. I'm going to fold them up all up right here. I'm going to hook it around like that. And then we're just going to try and feel it out. So you're going to like feel, okay, that's pretty tight. If this part up top isn't tight enough for you, right, because we tacked this part down, so that's going to be like that. If that's not tight enough for you, one of the things you can do is you can put a couple little tacks right here at the top to make it a little tighter on the face. I can't do that right now because obviously I've got pins in this and I'm going to want to stick myself. But So you can put two little tacks right there if you needed to make it a little shorter from the ear to ear. I don't need to. Um, so... <coughs> we're going to put this up, <coughs> hook this around, sorry about the coughing, my allergies are crazy right now, um, and then we're going to kind of feel out, like, okay, this is going to go around the ear right here, I'm going to feel it out, that's tacked down, don't worry about that, oops, there go my glasses, um, love these glasses, but they're really loose, uh, so put this in, hook it around, Feel out, like, okay, this is kind of where, feel out, this is kind of where, don't worry about your ears bending, right? Um, feel out where you would tack them down, like that. Just make sure they hook very nicely around here, that it's tight enough up top. 
and then keep your fingers where you just measured that out. And then you're gonna take a pin and you're just gonna pin it where it would go. There we go. I lost my actual date of birth. So that's gonna see right around there. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay. Um, and then don't forget that because I had already folded in a piece that I am going to sew, don't sew it yet. Wait until you do this part because then what you can do is you can sew you can sew, that's not a good strategy. Okay, you can sew the strap into where you're tacking it down. So um, you don't want to keep the strap where you just want to slide it on. Doing this on my, did this yesterday for the first time on my own leather sewing machine. Um, so there you go. So now you've got two straps. This one actually is snowing around here though. I'm doing this quickly for you all though so you know just measure it out that one's a little big so I'm gonna move that um, for this project by the way all you need is some pins obviously you got to cut the straps at the two and then you need your sewing machine um, I think I already said this um, so yeah sorry repetitive um, okay so I've got my little these are gonna be for where my ears go so put them in here and in here and see it's already getting a lot tighter this is gonna be like that yeah okay so kind of measure it out you see it's fitting quite nicely at the top don't forget this is all gonna look a lot nicer because I've already sewn this the pins are gonna be out and so this is hooking around both ears here and here um, okay so then you're gonna sew from here to here. You'll see this part's really thick. A lot of lower end machines won't take such a thickness. Mine doesn't. That's not to say anything about the other sewing machines. It's just I'm not a seamstress, so I don't have an industrial strength machine. So, but that's okay. You don't have to sew the bottom part. What you can do is just sew along here, right? And then if you want to, you can then use this, your regular, do a hand sew, hand tack it in. However, it's hard to push through because it's like four really thick layers of fabric with elastic. So what I did was I took this like super, I don't, I don't have a thimble. So I took this like super heavy duty, really nice um, <laughs> tape dispenser. And so I used, ow, I, I used this to like tap, tap it down into the fabric. So like, so like if I was like, you know, wanting to try and sew this, it's like, ow, it won't go through. Um, you can take, take something really hard and like tack it down and see, tap, 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 look at that. It went right through and I haven't hurt myself. So, um, right. so that's what you would use this for. And then you would use it for something else. I'll show you in a minute. So we've sewn this, we've sewn this. The other thing you should do before you sew it, I mean, you don't necessarily have to do this before you sew it, but I would recommend it. It's once you've measured your straps and you're absolutely sure that that's the right length, try it, right? Try it a couple times before you sew it. Make sure. Once you're sure, you can just cut, before you sew, cut it the excess before you sew it. Or you can just cut the excess after you sew it. That's fine. You always can see it inside. Who cares? You're wearing a bra and boots. <laughs> um, so <laughs> cut this either before you sew or after you sew, cut off that excess. So now what you're going to have is this mask all sewn up, goes around here, goes around here. You'd be surprised though, I have a finished one I'm going to show you. It doesn't really look like you're wearing a bra on your face. So okay, you can see how tight it's already getting here. Now we got to figure out what to do with this part, yeah? So we've got our third layer right under here. So what I did is I kind of measured around here and I tacked it right at the ends, right here, like kind of like, not at the end end, maybe like there and there. I tacked it in to keep it tight, two little tacks right there. And then this part, I came around, there's two different ways you can, there's, there's a couple steps here. So what I did 
is that I did three little taps. One here, one here, and one here, right? And I did the same thing. Tap it here, tap it there, and tap it there. And what this is going to do, it's going to bring the whole thing up a little bit. So it's going to be up like, ow, up like that. So I'm just going to put a couple pins in there. Um, okay. So while I'm doing this, I just want to say hi to you and to Sammy. As I said, my mom's getting chemo right now. I know, I feel bad, but I can't be there. Um, and also, I want to say hi to my brothers and my friends and my family. And I also want to say hi to my students. Um, I know that especially those of you who are seniors right now, this is in the senior year we're looking for. You know, I feel bad that a lot of you didn't get to say goodbye to friends before we went on spring break because I hadn't decided we weren't coming back yet. I feel bad that a lot of you aren't getting, some of you really wanted a senior week. I, they didn't have that when I was in college, so I don't know. If they did, I didn't know about it. Um, <laughs> I probably just didn't know about it. But anyway, um, you know, you didn't get that if you were looking forward to that. And also, um, now you're left to finishing up the last semester your seniors online um you know i mean and i think all the rest of us feel really sad for you but at the same time um i will say that uh you know you're still gonna get your degree and that's the important thing um and so i'm i'm gonna like tack this up too though because Unfortunately, I put the pins in the wrong way, so I'm going to like stab myself and I'll put this on my hair. But I'll do it just so that you get a sense of what I'm doing and hopefully you'll see that this is all, see, this is all now getting really gathered on the side. So that, that represents the three tacks you're going to do. You're going to do a tack here, a tack here, and then another tack right here. Um, sorry for the arms. I also want to say hi to my colleagues. I was supposed to go to a conference, one conference at ESS, and I couldn't go because I had to take care of my mom and she was having an operation. And then I was supposed to go to another one in June, but it's canceled. Um, so, but we will see each other there. So, okay, so see, this is what it's gonna kind of look like once you tack the three. And you're gonna see, it's starting to really get quite tight around the face here. around my ears look at that so it's gonna be like that so then you need to deal with this part at the bottom so what I did is I did I first of all pulled this up this is where you need your hand sewing because the machine is not going to be able to handle this situation so what I did is I hand sewed each of these ends in right so I hand sewed this here these straps aren't going there anymore because you cut them off. So that's what's the pattern out there. There we go. Oops. Um, and so you're going to hook that in. And then, so you're going to hand sew there, hand sew there. So now you've got almost there. You need to make this tight. So what I did is I did three tacks. One here, one here, and one in the middle. And that's going to tighten everything up. So it's going to be like that. I have a finished one here, so you can see. This is my finished one, the first one that I made. I'm going to show you the inside just so you can kind of see what I did. So, see, I had to tack it, like I said, I had to tack it at the top just to make it tighter at the top. You'll see that's where the folded over section is. Folded over section is really good too because then you know which side is the front. Um, you don't want to wear a mask outside and then take it off for something and then accidentally put it on the other way around because that's no good. So this way, you always know what the front is with that folded over T-strap right here. So that's out at the front, the outside. Um, and see, I tacked in the tops, as I said, to keep it out of the eyes. I attached the T-strap to the front of the bra. I left this side open, but I did tack in here and here. And then you'll see those three tacks there are the ones under the chin. Um, and then you'll see my little three little ruched tacks here to the sides. Here, oops, here, here, here. 
end, my two little strands. So when it's all done, it looks like this. I'm gonna take my ink off so that way it looks better. There we go. Um, so put here, put here, pull this down. Make sure you get the underneath back. Oops, there go my glasses again. I should have worn my other glasses for this video. Um, so in, I can't see anything now without them. So, uh, in, pull this down. Make sure your ears are in there. There, there. Pull this down. Pull it down a little bit. Look at that. Fits tightly here. Fits around here. Fits tightly all around here. You have three layers of cotton. And it's not such a bad thing. Doesn't look like a bra. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I'm wearing hearts. It's become a symbol right now. Uh, last thing I want to say is I want to say something to all the children out there. Um, I'm a childhood study scholar. And I feel so bad for you uh, that you can't go to school and you can't be with friends and you know I I've made my life's work writing about you know images of children in film uh, and in um, novels a little bit about children's agency and um and I just want to say uh, that you'll see your friends again. You'll be back in school again. You might be a little behind, um, but you'll catch up. Um, do what you can to find some happiness. Call your friends. Um, I hope you have the technology to do that. For those of you who don't, write letters. Uh, I don't have any kids of my own, but I care so much for, you know, my nieces and nephews and the kids out there. Uh, in my last book, uh, my last edited volume, it was on representation of children's agency in science fiction. And at the end of the acknowledgments, uh, myself and my co-editor wrote a little bit about how we want you to rejoice and be brave in both the good times and the bad times when you're at your most lonely, um, as well as when you experience something really great. And I, I wish you um, some company, uh, and I. I hope you can join your friends, your teachers, again really soon. And for the parents and guardians out there and state individuals to take care of kids who are in foster care, what I'll say is um, thank you for doing what you can for them. So here's your mask. Good luck, everybody.